Hello, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Today, we're going to be going over flight planning. Looks like my Microsoft Flight Simulator has upgraded its flight programming, and I really like it. It's really good, so we're going to just get right into it here. I use a controller, so you have to look up how to put this stuff up on a keyboard on your own, but you're going to hit LV and the select button to pull up your iPad. Now I'll use my mouse for this. Once my iPad's up, I'm gonna go into settings to change a few things. I'm gonna set it to large and then horizontal. That's the way I like to have it. And then we're gonna go back to our flight planner. Now they've really upgraded. No more VFR maps. This is what you're getting from now on. And that VFR map wasn't really that great. I will say it's kind of like Navigraph, except it doesn't give you like your IFR. Let's see. Default terrain, default. But we don't want that. I want the satellite one. And it, if we go to, it'll show you your missions. It'll show you weather. Was showing you weather. All right, that's not working for some reason right now. And then it'll give you all of this information. Also, your airports, VOR, NDP, waypoints, airspaces, obstacles, terrain height, terrain highlight, traffic, and friends traffic only. I haven't been able to figure out why I can't get this to work, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure that out eventually. All right, so back to the flight planner. Let's go to the map. Let's zoom out and look at ourselves. There we are. We're right here in the Keys. Was, doesn't seem like, there we go. The closer we get, we can get, get waypoints, but that's kind of annoying. Anyway. So anyways, Flight planning, let's go. We're gonna leave from K-E-Y-W, -E Key West. Now normally those aren't gonna be there. You're gonna have to click on it and then type in the airport code that you wanna travel to. <clears throat> we're gonna add a departure and we're gonna do Buffett one direct. We're not gonna do a transition. So that just takes us right there because all of our transitions will take us past Miami International Airport where we're going. You're gonna click on change the procedure and there you go you notice that that loaded it in now you can switch runways because we haven't asked for a runway yet and we're, we're not going to get into that right now i'm just showing you basically how to do it we're going to select runway 27 for the takeoff now we're going to add the departure buffet one and then that's going to give us and we're going to change it again and then there we go so that shows us now that's loaded into the flight plan uh we're going to add an arrival, which is going to be Miami International. We're going to find a... Let's see what that does for us. Alright, that added something that we don't want. We don't want that. We want to select our own added arrival. That, that gave us so that's direct to try to add one. See, we're not going to do any of these because it's going to take us way out of the way, right? So we don't want to do that. So we're just going to put it on direct. <clears throat> and we're going to change the procedure, change the runway to nine. And there we go. Now that brings us straight in. Now, most likely they would change all that, but they'll, when you get close to the airport, they assign you a runway usually no matter what you pick, and that you have to change all that in your in your flight computer once that happens, but that's for another episode. Okay, so we've done all of that. Now, we're gonna file the plan with ATC. Oh, look, it loaded it in there and everything. Okay. And then we're going to send the route to avionics, which it apparently it already has done that. And we're going to look at it and make sure that it's all loaded in correctly. And there it is. It's all loaded in. That simple, guys. No more, no more Navigraph, no more Simbrief, no more none of that. You really don't need it now unless you want to do custom flights and you want to, like it says you can add waypoints here. See, yeah, you can add waypoints. Wait Let's try 
try adding the weight and see what happens on that. See, there you go, it's that simple. You find the waypoints you want to travel, and then just add it to the flight plan. That simple, guys. They really, they up the ante with, with this flight planning. I like it. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow to my channel, and turn your alerts on. See you later.